Hello everyone, this is Jennifer Beamer, owner operator of Expertly Diet Art by Science, and today I, was, I will do a hand sewing video. This was requested about <laughs> two months ago, and I'm just now getting to it because I've actually been very busy. I need to actually get back to making daily vlogs, I just haven't had time lately because I'm actually not teaching anymore, I'm doing something else, and that's been taking up a lot of my extra time lately. So, anyway, for this project, there's only a few things you'll need. Uh, these are some needles, just straight needles. These are, this is like a variety pack. You don't have to go all, all fancy. You can just get like a pack of five, and you'll be essentially good to go. Um, I just didn't have many choices because this was in Korea, and I didn't want to go hunting for a small package. I was like, a large package is just fine, as you can see. Um... And then I have scissors, a button, I have some thread here, and I have the item that the button popped off. <laughs> I was standing in Starbucks, and uh, the button here just went boop onto the floor. <laughs> and I have to fix this because it gets very cold with this coat on, like the, the wind will split it open, and when it does, it just the draft goes all the way up to my chest and that's that's actually not a very pleasant feeling so I'm going to fix this now <laughs> so um, yeah this will be a very simple video showing you how to do uh, hand stitching I will tell you that I am not a professional I I have been sewing since the age of maybe five or six so and most of the sewing I have done has been just hand sewing so even though I'm not a professional I do know how to make simple fixes so uh, the next couple of videos I'm going to be showing you simple things like this like sewing on a button or hemming a pair of pants or you know fixing a tear or something like a like something is just unraveled um, I'll show you how to fix that anyway so pick a thread that's very close to the color of the item you need to, to stitch or to mend and then you want to thread it through the needle. Uh, I like to cut off the end and moisten it with saliva before I stick it through the hole, which you are welcome to do. And then you want to pull it such that there's two thicknesses of the thread. And at the end here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it around my finger once, like that. So it's like the end is kind of crossed over once like that and then I'm going to roll it down my finger and pull it tight and that's how you get a nice big knot if your knot is too small it's going to pull through the fabric and you'll have to redo it so here it is I'm going to put this um, I think into whatever it's called like overdrive I'm going to speed it up so that you guys don't have to worry about all the in and out in and out that I'm going to have to do to sew this button on then the first thing you're going to have to assess if you're sewing on a button is if it's a two hole or a four hole button there are other kinds of buttons but these are the ones that are most common on, on shirts for example this one is a four hole button and as you can see you want to look at what the other what the manufacturer did so they go in this hole and down this hole Okay, they do that a few times and then they switch over and do it on this side so it's not crossing like an X it's just like two little parallel lines of, of thread. Now where mine popped off there's actually um, a little bit of the coat actually ripped. Um, so what I'm going to do is kind of offset it a little bit. So you're going to go behind the fabric and I'm going to move it over ever so slightly uh, towards the edge of the coat it's not even going to be noticeable and you're not going to um, have any issues with it not lining up properly so I'm going to go up and I want my bottom button hole to be lined up with the, the needle and you'll want to hold this here as tight as you can as tight as you can to make sure that it goes exactly, I'm trying to get the right light here. 
it's nice and sunny out today, which means it's great to be able to see stuff, but the glare might be a little bit bad. And then you go down. You, I went up this hole and down this hole. Up this hole, down this hole. I'm going to pull it through. I'm going to make it tight. Okay, I'm just going to keep doing this over and over. Up the hole, down here, the bottom hole, and then up to the top hole. And as you're sewing this, you want to make sure that you get the uh, thread as close to this um, space or like the part of the button between the two holes as possible each time. It just makes your sewing clean. Don't worry if you're having a hard time. And then I'm just going to keep going. So. Okay, now I'm going to switch to the other side of the buttonholes. And as I'm doing this, I want to make sure that the buttonholes here aren't twisted. Because if they're twisted, it looks bad. And even though people aren't going to be examining your buttons, <laughs> you'll know. And if you've ever made anything and worn it, you'll know if someone points out, oh, that looks handmade. <laughs> <laughs> Did you fix that yourself? It's very embarrassing. <laughs> and then I'm just going to keep going up and down this side about oh five or so times. There we go. All right, now I've gone through each hole. Um, well, I've gone through each set of holes about five or six times but now I'm not quite done because if you look it's very tight to the surface of the coat and if you look at the other buttons I mean sure these have been um, worn a little bit but you see how wiggly they are that's actually good you want some space underneath or behind the button so that it's easy to button the coat and they won't come unbuttoned very easily and, and how they do that I don't know if you can really see but they they wrap the threads on the underside of the button with the thread of the uh, from the needle. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up you're going to go up through the fabric but you're not going to put it through the hole you're just going to kind of put it through the side so it comes up like this pull it out and then you're going to wrap the thread around the button like this okay and that will give it a little bit of extra space so that the button can go through the hole easily and um, the, it won't come unbuttoned and it won't be difficult to button okay and you see this is why you need about 12 or 16 inches of thread and then you're just going to go back down underneath as close to where the button is attached as possible you're going to put the needle in I'm going to put the needle in and then push it through the back side Oops. you just want it to come out at one point not not two okay. so there's the needle pull it through Okay. If you're happy with your work, now is the time to make some knots. Okay, so this is where it is connected. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under just one layer. I'm going to pull the thread or the needle through. And you see how I have this little loop here? This is how you're going to make your knot. You're going to wrap the needle around once and then twice and then you're going to pull this through and you've made a little knot and you shouldn't be able to really see it I'm going to do it again and if I start this way I'm going to kind of go at it 
this way because I feel like it locks it in place. I don't know if that's actually the case, but yeah. If it, you know, if it doesn't work, I'll just do it again. <laughs> but I've never had that happen when I've done this kind of knot. So I have the loop here. And I take the needle and I go under once, under twice, and then I pull it through. Okay, so that is actually a pretty secure knot. And then um, to hide the tail, if you look at your other buttons, it should be very seamless. There shouldn't be any like little tail hanging out where the person who sewed this cut it off. And the way that you do that is this is dual thickness. Right? So what I do is I pick up a pinch of it and I stick my needle through it, but it's not through on this side. I'll pull it and then I'll cut this here. So I leave probably like an inch tail and then I will make the tail disappear in the middle of the coat by doing it like that. So there's no there's no end. It's not going to get caught on anything and unravel. Right? So there you go. Then you have your finished button. It's attached. It's pretty sturdy. You have a little bit of that space underneath so that um, you know you can easily button your coat again without it without having to fight with it. So yeah. If you like this video, uh, please subscribe. Let me know other videos you would like to see. I know that there's uh, two videos I mentioned, uh, mending things and uh, hemming things. I will definitely work in the future to get those available for you guys. Um, but if there's anything that you're interested in and you don't know how to do, please let me know. This is the easiest way to sew. It does take a little bit more time, but you have superb control over what you're doing because you're doing it by hand. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.